welcome to the prayer channel. We are being called to be spiritually cleansed as we move into the new year. And as we understand, spiritual cleansing requires deep cleaning. It's a housekeeping that actually goes beyond what many would see and hear. It's a cleansing from within, from inside and out. And so, Lord, today we're just coming before you, Lord, and we're praying, Lord, that you would help us to have clean mouths, Lord, that you would cleanse our mouths and that the words that we would speak would reflect what you want us to say. We're reading Luke 6, 45, and it says, A good man out of the treasure of his heart brings forth good, and an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. Lord, we come before you today, Lord. Humbly, Lord, transparent, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you are convicting our hearts and you are calling us, Lord, to raise our standard with regards to how we speak and with regards to what comes out of our mouths. Lord, you said that it's out of the heart the mouth speaks. And so, Lord, as we've prayed about our heart, Lord, we pray that our mouths would speak words, Lord, of life, of love. Lord, that you would help us, Lord, to lay aside any bad language, any negative talk, any pessimistic thoughts that contradict the word of God and the faith that we have in you. Lord, we thank you that you are challenging us today to stop complaining. You're challenging us today, Lord, to stop speaking words of negativity that defile and, Lord, that destroy the faith that we have in you. Lord, we're asking that you would come in supernaturally, Lord, and you would do a work in our hearts that results in our mouth speaking a better word, your word, Lord God. Lord, where we have fallen into bad habits, Lord, where we have spoken in negative ways for years, we thank you, Lord, that today, Lord, you are causing us, Lord, to respond to your word in a new and in a fresh way. Lord, would our hearts be full of treasure? Lord, would our hearts not be full of evil? Lord, would you clean up the state of our hearts, Lord? And in doing so, Lord, would our mouth speak words, Lord, that are pleasing in your sight? You say in Psalm nineteen fourteen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Lord, these words are so poignant and they mean everything, Lord. Lord, we desire to be pleasing in your sight, Lord. We don't desire to be estranged from you or far away, but Lord, we we desire to be right in the heart and in the center of your will. And Lord, where our mouths have been stopping us, Lord, from accessing, the glory and the power and the anointing, Lord God, that you've purposed for us to have and walk in, Lord God. We just repent today, Lord, of the words that have been misplaced, not thought out, rude, discrediting, unhelpful. Lord, would you wash us out? Would you wash our mouths out, Lord God? Would you wash our mouths out, Lord, with spiritual soap? Lord, would the words that we choose to speak, Lord, reflect the fact that we have been meditating on the word of God. Lord, help us to have a new desire for your word. Lord, help us to be filled with your word. And would our mouth speak your word. Lord, where we need to memorize, where we need to journal, where we need to write down your word and replace our language with your language, Lord, would you help us to do that today? Lord, we thank you that you're calling us to higher standards today, Lord. And where the world, Lord, has corrupted speech and corrupted language, we thank you, Lord, that you are separating us. You're causing us to be separated again and to remember and to realise that we serve you, our Father in heaven. And our desire should be and is, Lord, always, Lord, to please you in our conduct. Lord, where we are falling short of the standards that you require with regards to our mouths, Lord. We thank you that today, Lord, we can choose to change. And Lord, so we come before you today, Lord, and we say, Lord, 
we want to change. We want to change how we speak. We want to change the words that come out of our mouths. And Lord, we are serious about this, especially as we move into the new year. Lord, would you forgive us, Lord, for every negative and unhelpful word, Lord, that has hindered our future, that has hindered those around us, that has hindered the call that you have on our lives. Lord, we choose for our language today to line up with your will and your word. We thank you, Lord, that we are your perfect workmanship, created for great works, as you outline in Ephesians. And so, Lord, we choose to let our language, to let the words that come out of our heart, that is now going to be fully focused on the word of God. Lord, would those words, Lord, speak life? Would they speak life and would they speak hope and would they speak a wonderful future in you, Christ? Lord, we are going to be praying in our own words for the next few minutes, Lord, just repenting of any words, Lord, or any circumstances where we've used words negatively. Lord, help us today as we do that. Bring to remembrance everything, Lord, that we need to lay down at your altar today. We thank you, Lord, that you're gracious. We thank you that you love us. And we thank you, Lord, that today, Lord, we can choose to speak words that reflect what you want us to speak, Lord. We surrender. In Jesus' name we've prayed. Amen.